We built a lot of campers and survivor shelters recently and our wives have been telling us how much they like them and that they want to spend a night in them too. So we decided that we're going to build them their very own camper and not just any camper. This is going to be the cutest camper anyone has ever seen. And then we're going to tell them that we're going to take them to the cutest little camping spot, for this cute little adventure, but really we're taking them somewhere else. No! No! No, no! Get out of the car! So to make it up to them, we'll actually take them somewhere nice afterwards. But first, we need to build this cute little camper. This is a key truck. We couldn't just use a normal truck because they're just not cute enough, but this one will do. After sharing our vision with our build team, they got straight to work. The first step is to build the frame of the camper, but the tough part here is it has to be light enough that it doesn't delete the key truck engine and strong enough that it doesn't delete our wives. This tool is great for cutting out custom pieces of plywood. This is where the windows will go. We've purchased actual RV doors and windows to give this cute camper a professional look. Just look how satisfying this is. Even this camper be looking cute. The team is now assembling the frame. We built the top section taller because we learned from the bike camper that if it's too short, you just feel like you're sleeping in a coffin. But we want our wives to get some restful sleep, so this new design will do the trick. Now it's time to add the siding. This part proved to be pretty difficult, but it was well worth it for the extra finished look. Jeff, what are you doing? So as you guys can tell, this camper has turned out pretty dang cute. And uh, build, the build team's doing a pretty epic job, I'd say. Thank you. Um, so now the next, the next uh, order of operations here is we're gonna put the windows on. Wait until you see the final product, guys. This thing is gonna be the cutest camper you've ever seen. Okay, this camper fits so well with this key truck, it's like it was part of the original design. Now that the camper is installed, the team can start on the interior. They custom designed the cabinets and countertop. We'll be adding a working sink and stove here because we want the wives to feel right at home and not get any grumbly tummies. Since the key truck camper is so tiny, we had to get creative with the space. These table and chairs can be folded down when not in use to allow for extra room in the camper. Hey, what are these guys doing? They're gonna be looking like Pillsbury Doughboy. Man, I'm so glad that we cut the, the holes for the sink and the stove to go in. Honestly, we did it such a good job. It looks really good. We literally just did that. Did you hear something? No. Oh. Honestly, like, this is a little home. Like, this is a little cute, tiny home. Good this job, is dude. legit, good bro. Good job, bro. Now that the structure is complete, it's time to make this thing cute with some decoration. So we got some curtains, little things for the countertop, things to make this thing feel like home so that the wives are just like, they would just live here basically. That's the goal. The final touch. Chris, do you just want to have fun? Yes. So obviously this place is really tiny. Yeah, honestly, this thing is like the first camper that we've been able to do like a really compact chair and table system. It works pretty nicely. You have plenty of room. I'm actually kind of hungry, so we make some food? No. Okay, I'll just starve. Ouch. By the way, I, 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 built, I built all that. <laughs> so currently the cuteness meter on this thing is about half. But in order for us to completely smash the cuteness meter, we're gonna have to add some color to this thing. Yeah, so we're gonna take it to a wrap shop and uh, we're gonna make it all pink and, and uh, just so the, the wives love it. But, you'll see, you'll uh, see. Also, we're gonna see how this thing handles for the first time with this camper on it. It's also raining, so hopefully we don't crash. <laughs> this thing might tip, bro. You know, for a bunch of tall dudes, we actually fit in here quite nicely. Nicely is an overstatement, Chris. It's also stick ship. It's kind of weird. Where's the windshield wipers? Oh, there we go. Dude, those things suck. Dude, that is annoying. All right, to the wrap shop we go. The closer we got to showing our wives this thing, the more nervous we got. They still don't know we're taking them to a crazy off-roading adventure, and this key truck camper was definitely not made for that kind of thing. Okay, so now is the time that we've all been waiting for. We have the wives with us. We're about to reveal the cutest camper 
in the world. How are you guys feeling about this right now? I don't trust you guys. I don't trust you guys. It's now the moment you've all been waiting for. You guys know what to say. Move, Move that, that bus! Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Eyelashes! <laughs> I love it so much. It's so soft. QT Camper, stop. I thought it was gonna be so much worse. It's actually kind of cute. I thought you were gonna hate it. It's kind of cute. It's just like the Barbie movie. I'm enough. Do you guys wanna see the inside of the camper? Yeah. There's more. Oh my gosh. This is the inside of the camper. Oh. It's so cute. Oh my god. It's so pink. Got a little happy face in case you forget to be happy. So this also turned into a bed. You can actually sleep in here too. This is nice. <laughs> I am shocked. I thought they were gonna put some silly design on it and it was gonna be like flowers and pink and just look really ugly. Well, I'm really glad they love it. So only one of what the couples is gonna be able to get to go. Which one of you guys knows how to drive stick? I uh, pretend very well in my own car. I, I do this. Oh yeah. So I'm actually the only one that's proficient in driving sticks. So the only people that can go on this trip is Jillian and I. No, you're not a girl. Can't come. Bye. Goodbye. Whether they like it or not, Jillian and I are going on a camping trip and testing this puppy out. My condolences to you, Jeff. I know, dude, this, this honestly hurts my manliness. Can we get Starbucks? Sure. I'm honestly gonna be surprised if it uh, survives where you're going. So. Wait, say that one more time. I didn't say anything. Go ahead, hop in. Initiate the girliest trip on the planet. Your mustache is starting to disappear. I oh no! <laughs> oh no! Bye! See you later. I love the young people. Jillian still doesn't know I'm taking you to a popular off-roading spot with crazy obstacles. Hope this camper doesn't tip over. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Starbucks. You have to when you're in this cute little camper, you know? Hi, good morning. My name is Marcy. Hi, Marcy. I'm Jillian. May I please have a caramel brulee hot latte, please? Yeah. A grande. A baking gouda and then a birthday cake pop. Sounds good. I'll see you at the window then. Okay, 2705. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dude, literally, that's the goal that it's cute. And she just said it's cute. Hi. Nice car. The person in front of you was like, did you see that car? And I was like, it's so cool. Thanks. Thank you so much. You too. Starbucks run complete. Woo! You're dumb. You're dumb. Ah. What is on the... Oh my gosh. No! No! Okay, okay, okay. Get out of the car! Hey, hey, hey. Babe, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How are you gonna get back down, honey? I'm just gonna turn around. <laughs> Not with me in it. <laughs> It's gonna be fine. She did get out of the car, but we're just gonna creep down this little hill here. Just gonna slowly crawl down the hill. And just like that, we're done. Just like that. I honestly.
He just wanted to freak her out. So obviously I was just joking around a little bit. We were gonna go to a different campsite. You do love me. I do. I, I actually wanted this to be enjoyable for you. I just needed to torture you for a few minutes. Congrats, it was longer than a few minutes. <laughs> Should we do that? No. Okay, all right, we'll head back, we'll head back. Okay, now I want to make sure she rates our camper a 10 out of 10, so I'm gonna have to take her to a spot that's actually nice. Hopefully she'll go camping with me again. We made it, babe. Wow, it took all day to get here. It took all day to get here. All right, well, let's get camp set up, yeah? Oh, the light in there looks so good. Babe, this is cute, huh? This is so cute. I would camp like this all the time. Well, are you hungry? I'm getting there, yeah. Well, check it out. Check it out. Would you like me to cook or do you want to cook? I'll cook. Are you sure? This is how it is at home. I guess I'm not that good of a cook. And I, don't, I don't blame you though for saying that. I'll cook. Okay. Is that going to be you while eating? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Time to make some dinner. And we're going to be using some HelloFresh, not a sponsor. Some pork tacos. I was feeling like I'd be able to do this on my own because normally these come with instructions, but this has no instructions. So we're on our own here. Oh my gosh, how long have we been standing there? A while. <laughs> I have not even noticed you this whole time. That's so funny. Okay, babe, dinner's ready. You wanna make your tacos? I really like how this one has like an integrated table. It's like nice and compact and you can still eat normally. Like from a human being. This is cute. You like it? I like it. All right, let's see how it is. Mm, it's actually really good. Jillian just had a little moment. Um, you know, unfortunately didn't catch it on camera. She was roasting a marshmallow and it caught on fire and she started shaking it like crazy to get it to blow out. And it flings off and lands on her while it's on fire. <laughs> and then we all freaked out. I was like, ah, get it off. And it's on fire. It flies off onto my jacket. I didn't notice. And Jeff's like, J -J Julian. And I'm like, ah. And I take my jacket off and I'm like, <laughs> freaking out. But yeah, you can kind of see the damage over here. Luckily, uh, it didn't catch the whole thing on fire. It was definitely close. That was our little, our little marshmallow moment. I just wanted to tell you guys about it. Good job, babe. <laughs> this is actually kind of hard. The next step is to support these corners. We have these metal wires that are going to help us get it secure. So basically, got a carabiner that hooks there. Another one hooks there. This goes through there. That. This goes through here. Like that. And this guy hooks here. There. So all in all, it's got these two little brackets and a foot here, so it's very secure. All right, well that's the bed. It looks really nice. And for bed. <laughs> oh, this bed is so cute. I think it's actually really comfortable. Well guys, um, we're gonna hit the hay because we're tired and we're gonna see you guys in the morning, huh? Isn't that right, babe? Well, that was a terrible night of sleep, not gonna lie. It was windy, and apparently uh, I was just moving around a lot. How, how, was, how was it? I need coffee. Let's go get some coffee. The trip was a super great bonding experience, but our goal also proved to be a success. Even though Jillian may have slight trust issues now, she absolutely loved the camper. 10 out of 10, would camp again. <laughs>